Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outdoors. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use harvest time time tracking. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, so Harvest is a platform where in this case, if you have a project, you can actually track your projects, your progress, and even your costs, and even any or anything that you need to track in your project. Now in this case, you need to go to their official website, which is going to be getharvest.com. Now, in their website, you should be able to see different information, like for example, the number of companies that is currently using it, the R track, and the invoice paid, as well as the features they have, like for example, time tracking, reports analysis, and invoicing, and payments. Now, you could also integrate different platforms in this, like for example, Asana, Trollo, Cero, Slack, and a lot more. In this case, you might be wondering, uh, is it actually free? Well, the cool thing about Harvest here is you could actually try it for free without having any costs. Now, at the top section, if you click on pricing here, you should be able to see the pricing that they have. So currently, what we need to do is you could just basically sign in or sign up to their platform and you could uh, try their services for 30 days without any payment so meaning you could try or basically try using the platform itself without paying anything so you don't even need to provide a credit card for you to start using the platform itself but if you want to con continue using the platform itself then you need to get the pro version which is a 10.80 a month payment now in this case if you're really sure that you want to try the platform you could go ahead and click on try harvest at the top right of your screen and it should redirect you to the sign up page now in the sign up you need to provide the following information so that includes the first name last name company work email and password but the great thing about harvest here is you could actually sign up via google so if you already have a google account so in this case i'm going to use my google account here to sign up click on continue and from here, what we need to do is we just need to enter the company name. So all the different information here will be pre-populated for us. So let's go ahead and enter our company name here. Click on create my account. And once we've created our account, it should welcome us. Now, in this case, all we need to do is we need to answer a few questions. So let's go ahead and answer this one. So first, how many people work at the following company? So let's go ahead and answer that. Click on next. So tell us about your goals. So maybe I want to say I want to track billable time, invoicing clients for it. And in this case, I want to also maybe provide evidence of my work and click on next. Now from here, we need to provide a client name. So let's just say the client name is going to be uh, going to be this one. So make sure that you enter the correct name here and the project name itself. So maybe I want to say this is going to be a sample project, but you can enter the project name that you want and click on create project. Now from here, when would you like to be branded to track your time? So in this case, you could choose 9 a.m. weekdays, 4 p.m. weekdays, or another time. So in this case, I want to say 9 a.m. on weekdays. So let's go ahead and click on enable personal reminders. Now, what is the industry in the following uh, company is? So let's go ahead and choose the appropriate one. So maybe I want to say in consulting IT software and how do you hear about Harvest? So let's you go ahead and just say YouTube. In this case, uh, if you want to stay in touch, you can go ahead and enable this one. Click on done and take my account. Now, in this case, there are going to be different sections that you could actually access here. Now, in this case, at the top section, we have time, which in this case is going to be a section where in this case, we'll be able to tack our, track our time. And we also have expenses. So if someone actually uh, had meals, miles, or uh, tickets, or airline tickets, or other expenses that they could reimburse on the company, this is the, or, where they'll be able to track it. Now, we also have projects. So for example, you have a current project here, the uh, budget for that specific project, and some different information as well. So in this case, I'll be showing you how to edit those projects and create new projects. Now, we also have teams here, which in this case is going to be teams that is uh, that you have right now. We also have reports, which gives you details and overview on the current uh, happening on your project. We also have invoices and the manage tab section, which in this case, you have the following client and the uh, following, uh, following other clients here. Now, in this case, maybe I want to say I want to go to time here and start using it. Now, let's go ahead and click on the plus track time at the top left here, and we'll be able to ch start tracking our time. So maybe I want to say I'm going to build this as design, and I want to choose the project. So maybe I want to say example client here or example project, and I want to say um, design an architecture for network. 
And from here, we need to include the uh, time. So maybe I want to say I've done this like 1 hour and 30 uh, minutes. So let's go ahead and properly indicate that. And from here, just click on save entry. Now in this case, it's going to say nice work, ready to track your track even faster. So in this case, you uh, tell us about your workflow. So most things at work are reflected on my calendar. I'm going to move on for time or attend to work across multiple tools each day. So in this case, I want to say mostly. And from here, you have the option to connect your Google or connect your Outlook. But if you want to skip that, just click on X at the top right. Now from here, what we need to do is if you want to start tracking your time, you could go and click on start here and the timer is now or has now started and you can just basically start working on whatever that you want to work on. Now if you want to stop that, just click on stop here. It's going to stop your timer and in this case, if you want to edit this, just click on edit and in this case, you'll be able to update entry if you want to as well. Now in this case, this is how you track your time. Now, also, if you go to expenses here, if you want to add expenses, just click on track expenses here. Choose the category. So let's go to like a project category here. Let's just say meals. And from here, we could go ahead and attach your seats and whatever. So you could also enter the day here. So for example, it's going to be for today or for tomorrow and the amount. So let's just say it is going to be around $100. Click on save expense. As we can see, we now uh, expenses for meals, which is around, around $100. Now for projects, if you want to edit this one, you could go ahead and just click on the project and that should open up the project details. Now in this case, at the bottom here, we have the total hours for it. So we've set uh, the time for it, the budget remaining, so 48.50, so total budget for it. The turnout cost is $100 for the meal and 250 is invoice amount. Now, we also have the following. So the sign is 1.5 R, so which is available around $150. Now, in this case, if you want to edit this one, just click on edit project and you'll be able to edit the client name, project name, project code, dates if you want to uh, start this and end it on a specific date, the notes for it, the permission, so show project report to everyone on this project, or show project report to administrators and people who manage this project. Now, also you have project type here, so time and material, uh, which in this case you will be using, uh, which is uh, going to be billed by R with billable rates. We have fixed rates, so bill as set price, and non-billable is not billed to a client. Now we have different tasks here, so if you want to add a task for it, like for example, design, vacation, business development, project management, and a lot of those. Now in this case, uh, you could go ahead and just click on the button here, it says update project to update your project, and as you can see, we were able to update that. Now, if you want to go to Teams and uh, create or invite people, you can go and click on Invite Person. And from here, you just need to enter a name, their work email, and the type. So either employee or contractor. Now, in this case, uh, you could go ahead and start using it as you would because the most important features here for Harvest is going to be time, expense, and project. So those are the beginner details that you need to know for you to start using Harvest. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.